Across the northern part of the United States and Canada, spring comes slowly but dramatically as winter snows quietly melt under the warm spring sun. Birds begin to arrive from the south. The geese and swans are some of the first. They feed in last year's cornfields, eating the leftover grain. Crocus flowers bloom soon after the snow disappears, a sure sign that the soil is warming up. In the pastures, cattle eagerly seek new green shoots among the dry stalks from last year. Throughout the winter, dairy cattle have been fed grain grown last year. Farmers continue to feed them in spring until the new grass grows tall enough to eat. The cattle manure is saved and spread on the fields as fertilizer. The winter snows have melted and the water has soaked into the soil. Spring is a time for planting new crops that will grow during the summer. Machinery is put in working order. As the weather warms up, the fields are plowed and the soil is ready for planting. A machine called a plow turns the soil completely over. This loosens the soil so it will soak up the rain. A planting machine is filled with seeds, in this case, corn. Each corn seed will grow into a new corn plant. The corn planter spaces the seeds evenly in long rows. Spring is a time for gardeners to prepare the soil. A small rototiller, like a plow, breaks up the ground to allow the rain to soak in. More birds arrive from the south. They look for nesting sites among the trees. Food is now more plentiful Soon, the apple trees blossom. These flowers are the beginning of the delicious apples that will be harvested in the fall. Other flowering plants show a blaze of color with their blossoms. Bees visit the blossoms, pollinating them as they look for the sweet nectar of the flowers. They gather the nectar and return to the hive with it. Each hive contains a colony of honeybees. The beekeeper carries a smoker. He puffs smoke into the hives before he opens them. This keeps the bees from trying to sting him. Still, he wears protective clothing. Inside the hives, he checks the honeycombs. In early spring, these combs have young bees growing in them. The bees have eaten most of the honey stored from last winter. When he is sure the bees are healthy, the beekeeper puts the hive back together again. The bees are busy throughout the spring, gathering nectar to feed themselves and the young developing bees. They will store extra honey in the combs. It is this extra honey the beekeeper will harvest in the summer. As the spring months go by, the pastures turn green and rich with grass. Sheep eat the grass and grow fat. Cattle also enjoy the warm sun and the green pastures.
To help them understand how their food is grown, these school children are going to plant a garden as a class project. They have been given a special plot of land in Farmer Bill's field. It has already been plowed, but much work remains to prepare the soil for planting. The big lumps of dirt must be broken up and the soil smoothed out. Rocks and stones are removed so they won't be in the way of the growing plants. A woodchuck watches with interest. Later, he may eat some of the garden plants. A string is used to guide the hoe, so the rows will be nice and straight. The pointed hoe makes a V-shaped trough in the ground, called a furrow. At last, the ground is ready for planting. It's time to get the seeds. With large seeds, like corn, each seed is placed in the furrow one by one, far enough apart to allow each plant plenty of room to grow and get sunlight. After the seeds are planted, the dirt is pushed over them. The moisture in the soil and the sun's warmth will make the seeds sprout but it will be a week before the green leaves push above the ground. Some plants, like these tomatoes, were started growing indoors a few weeks before. By now, they have a good head start. Each one is planted carefully and watered. Green peppers were also started early, and they are now ready to grow outdoors. To prevent unwanted weeds from growing around the tomatoes, the children cover the ground around the plants with straw. The straw also keeps moisture in the ground. These children are going to try another method. They're laying a plastic sheet down around the plants. It will do the same thing as the straw. Now that the planting is done, the children get on the wagon to go back to their classroom. During the next few weeks of spring, they will return often to check their food garden. They will watch for the appearance of new leaves. The growth of the plants will continue through the spring planting season and into the summer growing season. One of the first fresh fruits of spring is strawberries. It always tastes so good to sample one right in the strawberry patch. <laughs> 